But what are some of your biggest expectations from Joe Douglas and this New York Jets team heading into this offseason? Because there's, like you said, there's a lot of big moves to make. Yeah, I mean, expectations are going to be high. Um, this is kind of uh, this is the big one here. They've got multiple first round picks this year and next year. So the success of this team long term is going to be shaped by what happens in this offseason as well as next offseason. So it's really a two year window they have to build the guts of this team. So. Oh, look, the expectations are this team's going to win more games next year than they did this year uh, because they're going to be a more talented football team. And it's going to take a you know a minute here for this new coaching staff to get in place and to get comfortable and, um, and get their systems installed and, and get everybody up and running. But the anticipation is uh, it's going to be a great offseason. I think if you're a Jets fan, you have to be excited with, with where you are resource-wise and free agency as well as the draft. Uh, they're well-situated to, to really improve their roster. And with all the draft picks, the free agency money, the, the, the money they have to spend in free agency, they can build a roster a certain way. I am thinking they're going to continue to build along the offensive and defensive lines. You see how Joe Douglas knocked it out of the park with Mekhi Becton to tackle. I think they're going to continue that way. I think they're going to absolutely add a running back uh, probably through the draft. They've got to get explosive players. I mean, if Sam Darnold or whoever's good the quarterback is going to be, They've got to get some explosive playmakers. They've got to continue to build there. But I think the main priority in establishing an identity, knowing Robert Sala, that is a very tough identity. Uh, but knowing Joe Doug is a tough identity. The offensive and defensive lines is where everything is going to start. This is the offseason he will really put his fingerprints on the franchise. He's already done it to a great degree with hiring a head coach. This is the head coach he thinks can can change the future of the New York Jets. But now he's going to be making really the big roster decisions um, about the quarterback and, you know, about the second overall draft pick. You don't pick that high that often, or at least you hope you don't pick that high that often. So um, that's a really important pick. And I, I think this is the, the offseason that we're really going to see um, how Joe Douglas would construct a team.